you won't believe what Muammar Gaddafi accomplished in the Sahara Desert. His grand water scheme, known as the Great Man-Made River Project, is an engineering marvel that deserves to be recognized as the eighth wonder of the world. But this project wasn't without controversy. What was Gaddafi's vision, and how did he plan to bring it to life? We'll take you on a journey through this breathtaking project and reveal all the juicy details. So place a bowl of popcorn on your lap and watch as we unravel the controversial engineering marvel deep in the Libyan desert. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. What is the Great Man-Made River Project? Libya, located in the middle of the Sahara Desert, is in a crisis. As the sixth most water-stressed nation in the world, they're facing a disturbing threat of national water scarcity by 2040. With no permanent rivers and water sources limited to desalination plants and rain-fed aquifers near the coast, something must be done to save the Libyan people from the crisis. But all hope is not lost. In 1950, while oil exploration was underway in the Kufa region of southeastern Libya, a lucky discovery was made. It was called fossil water, a massive reservoir of water known as the Nubian Sandstone Aquifer System. This water percolated into the sandstone during the Ice Age and could provide a lifeline for the people of Libya. Gaddafi refused to let nature dictate the fate of his nation and took a bold and daring step to ensure water security for his people. He commissioned the construction of a network of underground pipelines and aqueducts that would bring water from ancient underground aquifers deep in the Sahara to the coast of Libya. This audacious project could be the solution to Libya's water crisis and solidify its place as the eighth wonder of the world. How did he do it? You won't believe the lengths Muammar Gaddafi went to in order to solve his nation's water crisis. In 1983, Gaddafi's government set up a top-notch team called the Great Man-Made River Authority to make his dream a reality. They began by drilling hundreds of water wells in Tazirbu and Surir and pumping water from deep underground. Then they built a pipeline to transport the water to a massive storage tank in Ajdabaya. From there, the water was distributed to two different areas. One pipeline went to Benghazi, and the other went to Sirte on the coast. The next phase of the project focused on the western region of Libya. The team built even more water wells in Jabal al hasawana and soon the water from those wells was being used for drinking in the capital city of Tripoli. There were also pipelines bringing water to other places, like the Nafusa Plateau and al Jifra Plain. Phase 3 was even bigger and better. It featured a whopping 1,200 kilometers of pipelines. The first part of this phase expanded the original project by adding more pipelines and pumping stations. The second part added even more water to Tobruk from the amazing al Jagboub wells. The final two phases of the project included even more extensions to bring water to even more cities. Although there were a staggering 6.5 million cubic meters of water and an impressive 4,000 kilometers of pipelines. This grand water scheme remains a testament to human ingenuity and engineering prowess, continuing to provide vital water to communities across Libya. Where is it now? The Great Man-Made River, one of the world's biggest irrigation projects, continues to provide vital water for agriculture, domestic use, and industry in Libya. Despite costing a staggering 20 to 25 billion dollars to complete, this massive project delivers an impressive 2.5 million cubic meters of water daily. Unfortunately, only two phases are currently functioning, with GMR 3 and 4 still uncompleted due to the tumultuous political situation in Libya. Lack of stable power supply, insecurity, attacks on personnel, and the unstable economic conditions are all remnants of the 2011 revolution that took Gaddafi out of office and threw Libya into chaos. However, with a return to normalcy, there's hope that the great man-made river will be able to reach its full potential. Experts are also concerned about the potential impact of climate change on the project and its timeline. Despite these challenges, the great man-made river stands as a testament to human determination and the incredible impact it's had on communities in Libya. This is an engineering marvel that deserves a spot on any list of the world's wonders. A network of underground water pipes carrying water to multiple locations within a nation plagued by extreme water scarcity. It was a success story until the nation's instability cast out on its future. 
there's still hope that stability will return to the region and allow the nation to thrive again. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll be bringing you more incredible marvels like this every other week, so don't forget to hit that notification button too.